Okay, this week we're going to feature LMS metal detecting for the shout out of the week. Gentleman's name is Mike. He hunts in the North Carolina, South Carolina area, and he just started on YouTube about two months ago. Already he's pulled some really cool things, guys. In this last video, he found a silver dollar, a Morgan silver dollar. Go check him out, guys. LMS metal detecting this week's shout out of the week. It's another beautiful day in the woods, guys. Yeah, there's a few bugs around, but uh, I'm prepared for it. I'm going to see if we can find something old today. Back out in my favorite woods. Try to find some virgin ground. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, just found a little flat button. A little tiny thing. Got the shank still standing straight up on it. No design on the front. I was hoping it might be an eagle cuff, but there was no design on it. Just a standard little flat button, but that's a really good sign. Love finding these things. Rang up just like a shotgun shell, too. That's why I'm digging all the shotgun shells out of here. All right, guys. See you at the next. Okay, guys. Got a good signal out here. I don't know if you can see this or not. Probably hear it. It's coming in at a 1331. It'll jump around a little bit. There's an 1130. 1431. 1231. It's pretty solid. Um, I think I'll pop the hole because of all the roots, and then we'll uh, we'll do the recovery live. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I got the hole popped, and it's still in the hole here. Right there. Let's see what that is. It's too strong to be a shotgun shell. But it might be junk. There looks like there's some iron on it. Hard to tell. That could be something pretty cool, guys. I'm going to take my time and clean this up. It looks like it might be a two-piece button. I'll clean it up real quick, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, guys, it's a button, and I think it is a pretty cool button. It's a two-piece button. There's the back where the shank is bent over. But what's important is what's on the front. Now, you can't really see anything yet. It's all crusted up. But there's words across the top here, guys. Can you see that? It says North Carolina. You know what that means? That means this is a Confederate button from the Civil War, guys. The button I found for, from uh, Virginia, the Virginia Confederate button, was less than 100 yards from where I'm hunting right now. And this one says North Carolina on it. Got a matching set. That is so cool. That is so awesome. All right, I'm just going to let it dry out. I'm going to clean it with a light brush. When I get back to the car or when I get home, I'll get the right brush on it. I've just got a little toothbrush right now, but uh, I think the, the dirt will come off a little better uh, after it sits and dries for a minute or two. That is so cool. Awesome find, guys. This is about my third hole I've popped today. North Carolina Confederate button. Love it. Okay, gang, I just found that North Carolina button right over there, just the other side of this stump right here and came over this way, working my way through the woods, just hunting the pockets like I usually do. Got a decent signal from down here. It's actually a real light signal, like an 1119. I thought it was gonna be another shotgun shell. Turns out uh, it's either a flattened musket ball or some camp lead. It's definitely lead, it's real heavy, has that white patina. So that's a really good sign. There might've been a camp here, gang. Getting pretty excited about this spot. So we'll keep looking around. Okay guys, I've cleared away the pine straw here to get a better look and listen to this signal. It's real solid and it's coming in at about uh, 29, so it's 1028. There's a 1429, 28, 1329, 1129. I wish I could get a 30 or a 31, otherwise it might be a shotgun shell. Well, we'll see what it is. We'll, we'll dig it and see what we got. Okay, finally got it out. It uh, was in the plug, it was only two inches deep, and looks like a little hunk of modern lead. A little lead bullet. All right, we'll keep going. Found a ring. It's a little big. Okay, gang, time for a quick wrap up after today's hunt. 
Just wanted to show you a couple of things that I found here. Uh, here's the modern bullets. I call them modern bullets just because they're post-1900, and there are a lot of these out there. Uh, little 22 bullets all the way up to the, the larger ones. I did find this, this tin here, and this looks like a snuff can lid or something like that. There's a decorative edge around the outside, and I've looked on both sides of this thing. I can't find any, any hallmarks or, or brand names or anything on it, so it's hard to tell exactly what it was. Still pretty cool, um, so I, I kept it. Um, there's a couple of pieces of camp lead, and then, of course, the two buttons were really the highlight of the day. Let me show you this little one first. This little guy is really cool looking, and the shank really looks like it's handcrafted. Uh, usually they have a real machine look to them, but the way this shank is attached, it really looks like it was, it was hand done. So that makes it a real unique find. And I like that. I think it's pretty cool. There's no back mark on it. There's nothing on the front. It's just a simple little flat button, but it's real unique. And then, of course, the find of the day, in my opinion, is this North Carolina Confederate button from the Civil War. This thing is a beauty. And I'll tell you what, it took a lot of elbow grease to clean this up. I tried uh, a dry brush on it. didn't work. tried two different brushes. I tried a soft bristle brush and then something with a little more, uh, uh, little more firm bristles. And that didn't work, so I tried the soap and water, and that started to take some things off of it, but there was still a lot of gunk, a lot of sand on it. So what I did is I went in and got my toothpicks out, and I went through about five toothpicks cleaning this thing off. It took me a good hour until I got all the dirt and, and sand off of this thing. It was really caked on there. But just an amazing find. I love finding these Civil War buttons, especially something Confederate and something that represents North Carolina. The back mark is uh, hard to see here, but it, is, it does say Scoville Manufacturing, Waterbury, Connecticut, which dates it, uh, it, it was made somewhere between 1850 and 1865. So again, just a beautiful find. Really, really happy to have this one, and uh, sure hope to get back out there soon. So I hope you guys are finding some great stuff. We've got some really nice weather right now in North Carolina, um, but the, the woods is, is buggy, as you saw. And it's, it's getting hot out there, but uh, I'm going to keep going back to this place, guys. It, it keeps giving up the goods. You know, I went out there a week ago, never found a thing but shotgun shells. And go out there today and, and, and find a beautiful Confederate button. So I will be back. You know that. All right, guys. Hope you're having a good day, and thanks so much for watching. Take care.